In this video today, I will show you how you can create HDR videos in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. So an HDR video, for example, is just a different color space. So maybe you're shooting videos with your iPhone and you notice that you have HDR videos. And when you bring them into DaVinci Resolve, you maybe notice like, oh, it looks so washed out. That's why in the past, I already made a video where I explained you how you can work with iPhone footage and create a normal standard color space. If we come here to DaVinci Resolve and we check here our project settings, and from the project settings we change here to color management. You will see here what is our general settings for timeline and output color space. And Rec 709 is the most used one. Why? Because most TVs and screens and even today still most smartphones can't even show you HDR videos. So if you have an iPad Pro or a newer iPhone, then yes, you can even see HDR videos. And then of course you can record an HDR and also look at HDR. And the cool thing is YouTube also supports HDR. So that means if you upload HDR videos to YouTube, you can even see HDR if you have a device that is capable of HDR. That is why in the last two days or in the last couple of days, I made a couple of videos explaining you how you can upload HDR videos on your iPad through the YouTube app. There's a setting that you have to change. So just go back to the other videos and watch that one if you want to know how to do this. In the video today, I will show you what I change if I want to create HDR video. If I'm here in the color management, and this is also where we have to change everything. So we are not now working in the Rec 709. So if you're now asking like, when should I use this? If you want that the video looks best on all devices, then keep 709 and skip to the other video about the iPhone footage that I created. But let's say you wanna have your HDR videos. Okay, when we wanna change this now to HDR, the first thing we have to do is come here to Color Science and instead of DaVinci JRGB, we go to DaVinci JRGB Color Managed. And then we also dis deselect the automatic color management. And here for color processing mode, we actually select HDR Rec 2020 PQ P3 D65 Limited. That one, and then for the output color space, we go down here to Rec 2020 1000 nits. And then we also say HDR mastering for 1000 nits. That's it, you can now say save. And what you still have to do your color correction, color grading to your footage, it doesn't look perfect. I will not show you this in this video, but basically what I wanna show you now, if we open the deliver page, if you don't know how to open all of the other pages, I made a video here on my channel. I explained you how easy it is to get all of those pages because it's basically just a shortcut that you have to give. And yeah, just watch the other video. So we come to the deliver page and I will just do a custom export. I will give this a name. So let's say for example, HDR test four. Then I say where I wanna save this. I will save this here to my my downloads okay and then here QuickTime and this is where it's different to the desktop version in the desktop we have way more so we keep QuickTime but for the codec we have a couple of more options on the desktop and this was a little bit what I, I was struggling but if you've done your settings correct you can now either use Apple ProRes which will be a larger file size for a sh short one you can do this or you just use the H264 that actually works as well you don't have to do more just add to the queue and then render all so, and if we open now the files app here to HDR test five, and now when you open this, you see here, we have also the HDR mark. This is important. If on your iPad, you don't even see the HDR mark, then it will not show you HDR on YouTube if you upload to YouTube. That means you already missed the first step. You have to create something that has in the metadata that it's HDR. So if you don't see that, by the way, if you hit play, you will not see this. You only see this when you basically are in the viewer here, when I go through the stuff. This one, for example, is not HDR, but that one it is. And if you wanna upload this straight to YouTube, like I said in the video, I think from yesterday, where I explain you what settings you have to change and then you can also upload that to YouTube or you can even use DaVinci Resolve itself because you can connect DaVinci Resolve with your YouTube channel and then it will straight away upload this to YouTube after you say render and you can use this one as well. I hope you liked this video and you learned something. If yes, hit like, subscribe, ding-a-ding-a-the-bang-bang-gong and we'll see us in the next video. I'm Daniel, bye.